Hey YouTube, Marty Golden out of Fly Creek Kennels. Today I wanted to do an unboxing of the Garmin Tritronics Sport Pro. It's the collar that I recommend to almost 95% of my clients, whether it's pet obedience or gun dog obedience. Um, I think it's a great collar, um, but this isn't really about how to use the collar today. It's not at all. It's just an unboxing to show you what you're going to get in the box and some pro tips on how to make it easier to set up and uh, just some ways that you can make it easier to use. So let's go ahead and get to it. So first things first, when you open the box, you're going to get a couple of things. Your plug, your plug adapter, your strap, the actual collar, or excuse me, the, the um, receiver itself, a bunch of different wires in here, and I'll go over what all of those are, a little tool kit, more wires, and the actual transmitter, okay, so here's your transmitter, put that off to the side. Pull all these wires out, you're going to find that you've got a Y adapter, okay? The next one you've got a wire with a cradle on it, and that cradle is going to be designed to charge your receiver, okay? Next one you're going to get. going to be a wire. It's tied with your tie wire. Now hold on to the tie wire because the tie wire is going to be used for something in a little bit here. And then with this cord you're going to find that it's got the USB on the end and then another plug um, on the other end of it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, now okay, let me unwrap your plug first. So <laughs> if this <laughs> tells you why I'm doing this. This is exactly, there's a lot of things that come, there's a lot of moving parts to this charging system in itself. So I thought it would be helpful just to show you how I like to put it together, okay? So you're gonna take all the packaging off this thing. You're gonna open up your adapter for your plug. And you gotta remember, Garmin is international. So there's different types of plugs over in Europe. So I think their idea behind this is that you can take this plug that's used in the States and slide it into here. So you can take this off, put it on and off, just by sliding it in there, okay? So this is your plug. You are then going to take your USB cord and plug it into your plug, okay? Then you're gonna take the end of that plug and you're going to connect it to your Y adapter, okay? And your Y adapter is going to connect to your cradle charger that is used for the receiver, okay? So this is what it should look like in the end. You've got your plug on one end, and you've got leading to your Y adapter, which leads to your cradle. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to take it apart and show you how to do this one more time. Okay, so USB cord plugged into your plug, the end of that cord, plugged into your Y adapter, okay, and at the end of your Y adapter, they're both the same, so it doesn't matter which one you choose, but they will plug into your charging cradle for your receiver, okay, so we've got that part done, I'm going to put this off to the side for now. Another thing I want to talk about is when you get your receiver, it is not attached to your strap, okay? So what you're going to do is you can see on this receiver, there are some guides to guide your strap through there. If you'd like, a little pro tip, you can put a little petroleum jelly on here, something to make it go a little bit smoother. I've done this enough times where I don't need to do that, but if you'd like to, you certainly can. Now, when you're putting this collar on your dog, there is a side that has the logo 
and a light, okay? Technically, that side is supposed to face up when it is on your dog. So let's, let's pretend this is your dog's neck. You're going to want that facing out. Supposedly, it has an internal antenna on this side, and you want that facing up. Now, personally, when I put on the collar for my dogs, I like to have the end without the buckle in my right hand. It's just how my brain operates. I like to have the buckle in my left hand. I bring this up because it is going to be very important in the way that you thread this through the collar, okay? So again, buckle on my left, end of the strap on my right, so this is going to be facing out. Now, if I am doing this while I'm holding it, just figure it out on your own how you would, which end you would put it in, okay? So I'm going to, I've done this enough times to know, and I know which dog this is going on, but I want to make sure. Also keep in mind that the exterior part of your strap is the one with this, because what's going to happen is it's going to go through your buckle, it's going to get clipped, it's going to come through here, and then it's going to rest in that area right there. Okay, so I know that this is how this should go in my hand. If this is going to be facing me, I know that I have to thread the collar down through this side, underneath, and give it a little less room because I know how snug this has to go on the dog that I'm going to be putting it on. So I'll snake it through there. Let's back a little bit. Slide it through there. Again, if you wanted to put a little bit of lube on here, it would make it run a little bit smoother. Okay, and now we are ready to go. So when I am going to be looking at the dog that I'm putting this on, the strap is in my right hand, buckles in my left, and the light and the logo are going to be facing me. Okay? The other thing I want to say is it comes with a bag with a tool with extra contact points. Now for me, the way that I like to do it is I like to take the small contact points off that come included on the collar. Okay, like take those off and all you need to do is take your wrench, slide it over the top, twist it a couple times and it'll loosen it up. And then you can hand loosen it. Don't lose them, okay? Dropped on the table there. You wanna take these and put them back in the bag that came with the packaging. That way, if later on you do want to switch them out, you can. So now we're going to take the longer one. Just look at the difference between these. Okay, you can see there is a difference between those. I like the longer contact points because then I don't have to tighten the collar down so tight, although I am known for making my collars snug. I want them to be snug when they're on the dogs, but I don't have to make them so tight when I put these longer contact points on. So by the time you're done with this, you'll have your strap ready to roll, you'll have your long contact points put on if that's what you choose to do, and then you're going to take your wrench again, and you're just going to tighten it down here. Don't over tighten it, don't strip it out, but just tight enough so that everything is snug. And then you can take your wrench and your extra contact points and put them back in the little Ziploc bag that comes with the collar and you can put it in your box or a junk drawer, label it what it is so in two years when you forget you know what it is. Now going back to your charging cord, let's use the wire tire that came with it and just kind of tie up some of this extra wire that's just hanging out here. Okay, Take that and just, it just neatens it up a little bit. Okay. Now, here's my pro tip of the day. On the back of this receiver, there are contact points. And if you look at this, there's a certain way that your cradle goes on here. There's little two marks on this side, and then there's a single mark on this side. This receiver has two teeth here and one there, and it cradles it a certain way. Okay, so rather than having to think about that, what I like to do to help my clients out and just to help my brain out is I take a paint pen 
little Elmer's paint pen, silver in this case. They sell white as well. And I just mark one side of the cradle and then one side of the collar. And the reason I do that, and you gotta let it dry for a little while, blow on a little bit or just sit it off to the side and let it dry. But the reason I like to do that is because now I know without having to think about it, if I line up those two dots, that cradle is gonna sit properly on that electronic collar. Okay, this does not come charged, although it's slightly charged. You do wanna plug it in and charge it, make sure that uh, it's ready to go. Um, now on the back, of your transmitter there is a rubber flap and that's where you're going to plug the other end of this charging cord okay so now you've got your uh, transmitter and your receiver ready to roll and ready to be charged and all you got to do is plug it in okay i will say this you can also charge it through just the usb so if you've got a vehicle with a usb or some sort of plug at the house with a USB and you don't want to use this, it will do that as well. Okay, So hopefully some of these tips help in putting it all together because again, there are a lot of moving parts. I love this collar, but I would say probably the only downside is all of the extra wires that come with it to put it together. So anyway, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We'll see you guys on the next one.